So in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use your LumaTree files. So we just logged in, and I'm just going to click on my Instagram Lutes. There's two downloads here, so you can download a Photoshop action pack to use for pictures, and then there's the Instagram Lutes, which you use for your videos. So we're just going to click on this and download that. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to have a folder that kind of looks like this. Um, you can just open up the README. So depending on what video editing software you're using, um, just follow the link and that'll show you how to install the files. If your software isn't on here, you can just do a YouTube search and you should be able to find it pretty easily. So going back to Premiere, um, we're going to go to our effects panel. And now we need to install our presets. So we're just going to click on this icon and we're going to go to import presets. And now you can search for them. So we just go to where you downloaded the folder to. So in this case, mine would be in here. So I'm going to go to Premiere Pro presets. And I'm going to import my 32 point preset. and just hit open. So it should be imported now. So what you can do is you can search for Insta and here you go. So here's all your presets. So how do you apply these to your footage? So let's go back to our project. So we have these clips in our timeline. So there's a couple of things you can do here. So going back to my effects panel. So if I click on this clip right here in my timeline. So if I double click, it'll apply the preset. Um, so that's one way to do it. So the next way, which I prefer to do, is to create a new item. So we're gonna click on this, and we're going to go to adjustment layer. Hit okay. Bring this adjustment layer over your clip. And we're gonna create another one as well. All right, so we have two adjustment layers over our two clips. So what I can do is I can apply my effect to the adjustment layer. So going back to our effects, so we can click which one we want. And if you don't like it, you can just hit Control Z and it'll go back to original. And we'll just find which one we like. So I like that one. So we're gonna stick with that one. So we'll go to our other clip. And again, we just click on the adjustment layer and you can double click on your effects. So let's say you like one of the effects, but it's too strong. What you can do is you can go to your adjustment layer, make sure you're selected on that, and then come up to your opacity, and you can just play around with your opacity. So as I move back and forth, you can see the effect getting stronger or weaker. So let's say I want to go with that one, but it's too strong. What I can do is just come in and just change the opacity. So what's great about having an adjustment layer is you can actually apply the same effect to multiple clips. So say, say I really like the effect of this and I want to carry it over to this clip. What I can do is I can just extend this like so. So you can see the same effect is applied to a different clip. 